What's going on? We back. Marcy Sports Talk. We in the building. Let's get it in real quick, man. One time for the one time. We grinding in. You know, yesterday, you know, Pistons, Pistons fans were parading around social media saying, we're wanting to have games out of the playoffs. You know, let's beat the Knicks and keep the momentum rolling because they snapped the Denver Nuggets six-game winning streak. You got to remember, Denver Nuggets had a few injuries out last night and they traveling east from the West Coast. So, you know, I, I think it was meant for the Pistons to win. They was motivated after the Clipper debacle. But for me, they don't do recover shit. Okay, this is the same shitty ass team. I mean, eventually everybody was going to show up on one night. You know, Blake Griffin had a little, you know, off night with 17 points. But Dre showed up 27 12, I think. Galloway, everybody showed up pretty much last night, man. And a salute to them. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, this don't change nothing for me. They're not Mike Conley Jr. away from being a formidable team in the East. You know what I'm saying? Um, Denver Nugget was a good team. Young team, of course, they're going to have lap lapses. They're going to lose the teams they're supposed to beat until they learn how to consistently win on, on that level, you know what I'm saying, on, on just to be in a top-tier level. But it don't mean the Pistons better than the Nuggets. It don't mean the Pistons are a playoff team, you know what I'm saying? They're still not at one and a half games out. But it's going to make them, it's going to make fans, it's going to get Tom Gores and Stefanowski excuse to sell to us that they are buyers at the trade deadline. This team is straight sellers, man. They bottom dwellers. They're not that good, man. And people are gonna see that. They get Mike Conley Jr. It's not gonna change much. Thirty-one year old point guard coming off an Achilles injury. I think it's not gonna change much, man. People just don't get it. People think that this team is good enough to win. It's not. It's gonna. You're gonna have that games like this in the NBA. Upside, ups and downs. You know, a two game season. You're gonna beat some good teams, but it doesn't mean you're a good team. Okay, this is not a great team. A good team. An average team. This is a well below average. NBA team, in my opinion, but, you know, people going to say I'm hating, but, you know, this is a seller team. They need to be selling everybody, being man bad, and then, you know, we just go from there, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, people say uh, we got to beat the Knicks. I think it's tonight at home, at home at home. They should beat the Knicks. Um, but all I'm saying is, you know, what I don't understand, in my opinion, is that how do people still try to justify this team is good? I don't get it. You know, they get one game. You know, Reggie Jackson had one good game or Luke Kennard had one good game. Oh, I told you he was good. I mean, you got 82 games. They got a handful of good games, but, you know, I don't understand it, man. You know, I see where this franchise is going and where it's not going, and it's not going in the right direction. You're going to be in the same inept that they was in the 90s, man. But at least we had Grant Hill to look at. I don't look at Blake Griffin as Grant Hill, but he's a good player. But, Hey, it is what it is, man. People going to have their opinions, man. We'll see what they do at the trade deadline. We're two days out. It's Thursday, probably like at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or something like that. We'll see what they do. But um, if they want to give up that first-round draft pick, well, so be it, man. I'm just going to watch the motherfucking build and go up in flames. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a beautiful chaos. And, you know, a whole bunch of pissing fans are just going to act like this team is so close and it's not. You know, you got two starters on the whole team. You think bringing one more old starter in is going to change it? No. You got to revamp, revamp the whole roster. You know, but they won't do it. They're going to continue to start to build something on the fly. And it's basically like, man, fuck it. You know, they're going to do what they're going to do. You know, but, you know, Time Wars is by far the one of the three top five worst owners in, 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 in American sports, uh, professional sports history, man. Excuse me, a little bit under the weather, man. You go James Dolan, Martha Ford, him. You know, there's probably some other shitty owners out there in other sports I don't even know. But them three right there, man, terrible, terrible. But, you know, ain't nobody going to stop stop Tom Gores. He going to do what he do. They going to try to put a winner on the, on the floor. It ain't going to work. You know, for a guy like S. Stefanowski, who's been around the league a long time, he show his yes, man. He know this roster ain't, ain't can't win with this roster. Stan Van Gundy said on ESPN, no, they can't win with this roster. You know, but, hey, it is what it is. If guys are just happy with being a French playoff team, oh, we almost made the playoffs. I mean, really, Pistons fans are really happy with just being the eighth seed and getting swept. Shit crazy, but, hey, more team sports talk. I appreciate everybody checking in. One time for the one time we grinding. Blessings to you and yours. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. We will continue to hold it down, man. I definitely appreciate everybody, man. Check us out on social media. All the links there. If you want to make a donation to the channel, that link's there, too. If not, just do me one a favor and just share these videos, man. Share, share, share. I'm going to try to get better and get better quality video. But, hey, the show must go on. Motor City Sports Talk.